For 150 years, the morning sun has been warming the white painted columns of this River Road mansion. At the time this grand home was built, these third floor windows were probably the first ones in the area to catch the daylight. This high gallery has a commanding view of the Mississippi River. John Randolph, a wealthy cotton and sugarcane farmer, built this plantation home with his wife Emily near the present day town of White Castle. Randolph named his home Nottaway. John was born in Nottaway County, Virginia, on around the Nottaway River, so he named this place after his birthplace so that he could always remember where he came from. Nottaway was built on a majestic scale. The house has 64 rooms. Its size is estimated at more than 50,000 square feet. That's nearly the size of a football field compressed into a three-story house. John Randolph's Nottaway is the largest surviving antebellum home in the southern United States. Not only did he want to show off his wealth, but he had a large family, 11 children, seven girls and four boys. So he wanted a place to entertain and for them to grow up very lavishly. But there are some guests and employees of Nottaway who claim they've experienced more than singing. Tour guide Janet Bryant tells the story of a newlywed bride on her honeymoon. She was up on the third floor just admiring all the things in there, just kind of ooing and eye and you know, the wonderful things. And she said she felt a hand grab hers and squeeze it. So she thought it was her husband to turn around to see what he wanted and he was not there. He wasn't even in the area. She became very frightened because she said it was distinctly a hand that took hers and moved it and squeezed it. Bryant has kept a journal of the ghost story she's heard during her 11 years at Nottaway. Some of the spiritual encounters were reported by housekeepers. And she was backing out of a bathroom, uh, just cleaning the floors. And when she turned around to face the bed, she noticed that there was a lady sitting on the edge of the bed it looked like in her nightgown with a nightcap and pushed herself up with her hands and as she did, she disappeared. We've also had some of the housekeepers come up to the uh, third level to notice that there was a lady in black with her hair pinned up on her head that was walking the little hallway there. In the third floor hallway, there hangs a picture of Emily Randolph, her hair pinned up and she's wearing a long black dress. Haunted? No. Spirits? Yes. <laughs> John and Emily Randolph and some of their children are buried under the massive oaks that still shade their beloved Nottaway. The home is still a showcase of the extravagance of Southern wealth, of a history that began a few years before the Civil War, and perhaps a few kind spirits that are not ready to depart this grand mansion on the river.